Santos are one of the most famous clubs in South America and were once home to one of the best players the game has ever seen. Over the years, Santos have seen some sensational Samba talent come and go, but just how good would they be if they'd never actually gone? Using only players who are still playing today, here is Santos' best 11 if they had kept their best players. In goal is Rafael Cabral. A 28-year-old Brazilian, the man known simply as Rafael has been playing his football in Italy since 2013, joining Napoli for 5 million euros before heading to Sampdoria this summer, after spending most of his days as backup to Pepe Reina at Napoli. But before 2013, Rafael was a Santos boy, having come through the club's academy. He would make 94 league appearances for the Brazilian side, winning 6 trophies including the Copa Libertadores in 2011. He's even played three games for his country, all of which came in 2012. At right back is Danilo. A Premier League winner last season with Manchester City, Danilo is Mr. Versatile for Pep Guardiola, lining up on both the left and right of defence, filling in wherever he was needed. The 27 year old has played for some big clubs such as Real Madrid and Porto, but he also briefly spent some time at Santos. America Monero were his first senior club, but Santos would be the ones to acquire him in 2010 and a deal that involved economic rights and percentages and all that confusing stuff. But away from the confusing figures, Danilo would spend two seasons with Santos before joining Porto for 13 million euros. Centre back is Jardel. Now initially we were struggling to find a centre back for this team, especially with former Chelsea defender and sheer powerhouse Alex retiring in 2016. But then we found Jardel, who is the Benfica captain at the age of 32. The Brazilian has played for the Portuguese giant since 2011 and has made more than 100 appearances for Benfica. As for his time at Santos though, Jardel wouldn't actually play a single game. Injury would be the reason for Jardel's disastrous Santos spell, having arrived in January 2006 from Vitoria. He would leave Fish in December 2006, which is a translation of a nickname for Santos, and was brought to Benfica to replace David Luiz. He's alongside Marcelo. No, not the bushy-haired Brazilian, the 31-year-old Leon defender who's never actually played for his country. I promise this team will be worth it when we get to the attacking options. But back to our second centre-half, and Marcelo has been playing his football in Europe since 2008, playing in Poland, Holland, Germany, Turkey and France. But before his move to Whistler Krakow, Marcelo was at Santos, another part of their youth academy. He would play 65 times for the club before his contract expired and now he gets to play alongside the likes of Nabil Fakir and Memphis Depay. Left back is Alexandro. Now Alexandro was never actually a permanent Santos player but he was there for two years. The left back joined on a two year loan deal in 2010 from Deportivo Maldonado who immediately used to hold the players registration rights. Sandro never played for Deportivo, instead spending his time with Santos, playing 53 times before joining Porto. Sandro isn't the only reputable left back to have played for Santos though, we could have also included Chelsea's Emerson Palmieri, who actually started with the Brazilian club. Emerson was born in Santos, but now represents Italy on the international stage. But we've decided to go with Alexandro over Emerson, for obvious reasons really. In the centre of midfield we've got Thiago Maia. The youngest player in this team and the most recent to actually leave Santos, Thiago Maia is just 21 years old. The holding midfielder moved to Lille last summer, signed by Marcelo Bielsa for 14 million euros. Maia was linked with the move to the Premier League this summer, but that never happened and now he's been linked with a return to Santos. Despite his tender age, Maia has made more than 100 appearances for the club, making his debut at the age of 17. As well as loads of appearances for a 21 year old, Thiago Maia also has himself an Olympic gold medal. He's alongside Diego. Traditionally an attacking midfielder, we're asking Diego to play a bit more of a refined role in this team and if he's not happy about it, we'll get FIFA star Ganso in instead. But for the moment it's Diego who gets the nod and he's still playing in Brazil at the age of 33. The playmaker is a player who I probably didn't truly appreciate during the peak of his powers and it's only now I realise how good he actually was. Diego's best years were spent in Europe, playing for the likes of Porto, Werder Bremen, Juventus, Wolfsburg, Atletico Madrid and Fenerbahce. He also has 34 caps for his country and makes it into our Santa Stars 11. On the right of attack is Robinho. While he may be 34 years of age, we still think Robinho would get into this Santa side. It was where he began his career, averaging a goal almost every other game during his four seasons with the club. In 2005 he would join Real Madrid's Galacticos, then in 2008 he would become the first Man City signing of the Sheikh Mansour era. It was a move that didn't work out and Robinho was back at Santos on loan after 18 months. 
During his time in AC Milan, Rubinho would have a second return to Santos and he's now playing in Turkey with Sivaspor. Off the pitch in November 2017, Rubinho was sentenced to 9 years in an Italian prison for gang rape. However, as he was not a Brazilian citizen at the time of sentencing, he was not extradited. Moving on after that sour note, in attacking midfield is Felipe Anderson. He's now West Ham's most expensive ever signing, but it was at Santos where Felipe Anderson first cut his teeth in the professional game. After playing for various clubs as a youth, Anderson landed at Santos in 2007, going on to make his debut in October 2010. He would go on to make more than 100 appearances for the club, scoring just 9 times in all competitions. Lazio would pay 7.8 million euros for the Brazilian in 2013, but Santos would only receive half of that fee due to third party ownership. With West Ham paying £36 million for him this summer, I hope Lazio didn't get the same kind of deal. On the left of attack is Neymar. Santos's most famous player in modern times, Neymar's incredible career began at Santos, arriving in 2003 at the age of just 11. By the time he was 17, Neymar would make his debut for Santos, and the following week he would score his first goal. Scoring goals would come easy to the youngster, netting 136 times in 223 appearances for Santos, one of which won the Pushkas award, but this goal was actually worth it unlike Mo Salah's winner this year. With talk of a move away from Santos always circulating, including a bid from West Ham, Neymar left in 2013, joining Barcelona in a deal that ultimately cost him £71 million and saw the club charged with tax fraud. On his final game for Santos, Neymar of course cried, because that's just what he does, and he would take his play acting antics over to Spain and then to France with PSG. And up front it's William Jose. Another 26 year old Brazilian who previously played for Santos, William Jose's path was slightly different to Neymar's for obvious reasons. The forward was never a permanent player at Santos, just on loan like Alexandro was. And just like Alexandro, he was on loan from Deportivo Maldonado, where Jose didn't play a single game. I hope someone's investigating them for this. He would also have loan spells at Sao Paulo and Gremio, before spending a year at Santos where he managed a less than impressive 5 goals when he was just 21. After Santos, Willian's next loan moved to be La Liga with Real Madrid, and he's now a permanent player at Real Sociedad, but he's been linked with some big money moves away in recent times. So that's Santos' best 11 if they'd kept their best players. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.